Joker. I'm not even gonna battle with you. <laughs> God, I just don't give a fuck. Just harp and do something. Oh, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. All right, let me put my phone on airplane mode. I don't care about airplane mode, you know what? I feel like airplane mode is like when you're trying to like dodge, dodge people that you don't want to speak to. <sighs> you're some special charge, you know? <laughs> I don't know, man. People do tell me that sometimes. And I don't know if they're being patronizing or they're trying to be serious. Oh, I don't know how to put up with this. <laughs> I know people are like, oh, you can the day by things with your life. And I'm like, am I though? Just I know, hit <laughs> start. I, I still have hit start. We've been talking for like almost a minute and a half now. What are you talking about, dude? I wonder to other people, yeah. Can you, are you, can you... <laughs> Sorry, come on quickly. I wonder to other people, yeah. Do I sound weird, like, to them? Because, like, to me, I think I sound great. But then when I hear myself back, which is not very often, because, I like, unless, apart from, like, editing the podcast, I don't actually tend to listen to myself back for the most part. Um, I sound really fucking, like, high, like, my voice annoying. is, like, really high. It's really weird, yeah. Uh, annoying. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> but I'm like, maybe that's just me. And maybe, like, other people perceive that voice to be, like, great and, like, fun. And I'm like... Um, well, literally... Whenever you um, listen back to yourself, you don't, you never seem to like recognize your own voice. It's always been the case with me. So I find my voice annoying. Like I don't like listening back to my voice. I think that's the case with most people. If they listen back to their voice, they wouldn't enjoy it. But obviously to other people, it's just normal. So that's just how it goes. Um, I hate listening back to my voice. I'll listen back to the podcast to check that it's not shit. But apart from that, I'm done with it. So I don't know. Um... Anyway. Roll the oh, intro. Quickly, quickly, quickly. <laughs> yeah. let's put, let's put a poll. Who has a more oh. annoying noise? So, uh, avoiding noise. <laughs> what the? Who has a more annoying voice? Me or Matisse? And I already know yeah. everyone's going to vote for me because... That didn't like even you. that didn't even make sense the first time. I, or I the know, second I, time. Or the third time. <laughs> like, you you know them ones where you said it wrong and then you cleared it up and it was still wrong. <laughs> avoiding voice, annoying voice. I feel voice. like you just went with it. You and these polls, fam, like... I don't know. Like Instagram's oh. booky as fuck. I'm not really interested in these polls anymore because Instagram is just up and down. That would be the name of a great strip club. Polls for polls. And it's exclusively a strip club for people from Poland. Oh, are you, do you want to go in business with me? You feeling leave. that? I want to leave. <laughs> polls for polls. God damn, we're in the money. <laughs> Roll of the fucking intro, please. <laughs> please. Ho, ho, hold up. And I hear the people ask, why, oh, why? Because Christmas is a lie, and I'll tell you why. Thank you. Oh, my God. I actually got it. Freaking hell. That's Jesus. Oh, the amount of times that was done. Anyway. <laughs> I love the way you do it. I love the way you do it. And then you celebrate immediately after. Yeah, it's been a while. I Killing the effect of the intro. <laughs> yeah, but I haven't actually done good intros in a long time. So allow me this, please. Allow me this moment I mean, to this bask what, in my greatness. This is the so, 30th retake now. So, I mean. Yeah, but they don't know that. They, it's just been Shut a up. long, it's been a long half an hour, people. Of me waiting him to do that. But they got don't know that. Why? Trades of the secret editing. <laughs> So explain to the topic to the people. Come, let's go. Grace, graceful gaze. Gaze. Oh, you're so extra. Just speak. I don't know. English. <laughs> oh my god! I, like, you know, I like to add just words for the sake of it. I was gonna say it's graceful cool. geishas, um, so gentlemen, extra, and bro. germs. You're not David okay. out, bro. Just relax. <laughs> and here we have the hippopotamus. <laughs> <laughs> no need okay. for it. So yeah, hi guys. Um, I was shaking uh, another week, another podcast. <laughs> it's so hard to be cool, you know. It's so hard for you to be normal, isn't it? I, how is it? How is it shaking? I don't. I, don't I, I would never say that in real life ever. Who I are ever you? Yo, I honestly, shake you, bro. I honestly like, don't know who you are anymore. I really I, feel like you're having an identity crisis right now. I feel like anytime yeah, I do this podcast here, yeah, I kind of just like go into like corny like. Like, hey, bro, type of, like, persona. Yeah. Like, yeah, bro, what's up, bro? How you doing, man? Like, you know that guy that calls bros, male oh, and female? Ultra, ultra American. Yeah. Skateboard um, guy kind of kind of vibe. Okay, so what we're going to be talking about, essentially, is why Christmas is a lie and 
I'm done with it. I'm through with everything. And I'm and here to bring balance and happiness to your day. <laughs> Why are you going to do this to the people? Because it needs to be done. Because the kids, this is a, the kids, your parents are lying to you. It's all a conspiracy. The government is out to get you. Run while you can. It has to be said. It does. Are you Santa. about to tell the people that Santa isn't real? Because I don't have time for that negative energy in my life. Santa? I Good think luck. Santa is part of the CIA, you know. He knows when you're sleeping. He knows when you're awake. Okay. All right, big <laughs> man. Not sure. No, not, why, why, do you, why do you need to know that much about me? Privacy. Like, where is the privacy? Like, like where, where is the line when it comes to Santa and the invasion of privacy? Um... He's never been into bedrooms, I assume. It's more of like a chimney thing. Then you go into the living room under the tree. Then you leave. I don't know the exit route. I've never quite understood that. Back up the chimney. Okay. How does that work? Gravity. Interesting. Didn't know there were steps or stuff in the chimney. It's a very interesting concept, these lies that we're told, isn't it? They're never really fully fleshed out. I don't know who do does know, this. Do you know the <laughs> biggest liar yeah, of the whole situation of Christmas. It snows at Christmas. The biggest, I don't know, unless you live in like the Alps or somewhere that it snows all the time. The biggest... Well, then night, it snows all the time and it's not even really relevant. At that's what I'm saying. It will yeah, snow in March. And you'll be like, oh, yeah, well, you're, okay. losing, you're, losing you're, you're about seven months early, but thanks thanks for that. The biggest lie that I was ever told is it snows at Christmas. Being a boy growing up, always wanting it to snow on Christmas Day. Year upon year, I look out, all I see is pigeons like eating like sh like bread off the ground. And just concrete everywhere. Just lies. It's For just me, lies. I don't really mind if it snows on Christmas. I just don't want it to rain. That's my big thing. Like it's gonna be cold regardless. As long as it's not raining, I feel I'm I'm pretty. What was it? I'm not gonna lie. If it rains, it, it's kind of it's kind of a drag. Um. So you're satisfied, yeah? I'm I'm looking forward to Christmas this year. It's a bit wild. Um. Why are you why Why are you so down? I'm 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 looking forward to it. I mean, my Christmas is kind of weird anyway because. Ever since I moved over here, it's kind of like fly over there, fly back. I spend most of Explain, my Christmas. Explain, because the people fucking... may not know exactly what you're referring to. Okay, so because I'm from London and I'm living in, um, let's just say Greater Dublin. <laughs> because for any of the UK viewers, if I mention a county, you're just going to be like, what? Like English people don't even know their own counties, let alone Irish counties. So there's no point wasting my London. time. That's the county. <laughs> <laughs> London, Manchester. Birmingham, Newcastle, etc. Right? <laughs> That's a stretch. Um, so, yeah, basically, I fly over every year to England because all my family is over there, and I have my very traditional Christmas, which is going to be a bit fucked up this year because of all the vegan bullshit that we've had to tolerate. Wait, 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 wait! Are they still propagating that propaganda? They're still doing that. They're still pushing the propaganda. Yeah. Now the thing is, is that because Christmas Day they're going to be outnumbered. It's only really my auntie that has that same vegan lifestyle out of everyone. So I think we're going to be. I think the meat eaters are still on top this Christmas. So there should be the palate should be fine. Um, I'm worried in the years to come how how the dynamics may shift. But we're good for this year. It's interesting because you did call it. You did say on Christmas Day, let's see who's the vegans and let's see <laughs> let's see what's up on Christmas. You know, I think I mean? we should just put them on a separate table. To be honest, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not above it. All the vegans at the kiddie table and just let the carnivores eat at this table because we're not doing this. Just isolate them from the, the rest of humanity. Mm. You got a lot of backlash for that podcast from one particular viewer. Who? Who loves animals and loves... Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. She, 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 she don't like you. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. She's been bashing anyway, you get, on Twitter. It's beautiful. Let's get back to Christmas. One thing I hate about Christmas is presents. Now, I don't know how everybody else does presents, but if you think... And I, what I used to see on TV is presents used to be given out in the mornings and you used to run downstairs, rip all over your, pre open your presents and be like, yeah, I got this. And I got that. Nope, nope, not in my household. You do presents in the evening. I mean like seven, oh. six, five in the evening. But how it happens in my family is everybody sits in the room no. and watches you open the presents. No. Let me tell you, let me tell you, it's like opening a present. And, I'll, and then I'll let you go where you're going to go. With with 20 eyeballs on you. <laughs> yeah, but more importantly, opening a present and it's something you hate and the fake smile, like the squint and the look up to the person that you have to say thank you for and smile, even though everyone in the room can tell that you're lying. 
Why why do, why does this drama have to be played out every year? I don't is there know. not a new subplot? Why this... why why is it always the same script? Like it takes like that takes too long to go through everybody individually, just let everybody open in front of everybody. Just uh, like I know you want to do the grateful thing, but just let everybody just bust open the stuff just now. You're wasting time. I'm you not even saying that. Once. Do you know it's not even the that fact that me. you have to wait until 5 p.m. is a bit mad. I'm not that, gonna that's lie. Not, that's, that's that, not that is that is a that is a mid morning. Like there's no, we're not waiting until lunchtime. Like that can probably be held out until maybe half 10, 11 latest. After that, no, we're not, we're not opening presents. And that's, we're not waiting. That's, that's not, that's not what it is for me. It's having to open it crap in front of people and not getting what you want. Have you ever, let me tell you something. Let me explain. See, I don't care anymore. That's the thing. This is new. That, that's, that was, that was childhood problem. Now I don't let me, really give a shit about Let me explain like, it to you in a way you can understand quickly. Have you ever been given a card for your birthday? And you're you're like facts. There has to be money inside because you gave me a card, and yeah. you shake that bitch, and <laughs> you realize there ain't no money inside. And then you have to open the card in front of the person and say thank you for buying me a card. We have to be real, okay? Nobody gives a shit about cards. Can we all just say that? Because this needs to be universally facts. said. From seriously, facts. nobody cares about cards i don't care about cards i don't even give cards like unless i'm gonna put money in it i'm not getting a card because nobody gives a fuck about your cards i'm sorry i'm sorry you open that bitch and if there's not money in there it it has been a waste of time you may as well give me the 350 and change so i could go and get a mill deal like that's all that's all that has that's just been a waste of everybody's time i'm sorry is it like i like the fact that um like (laughs) as you're little you used to get money and then when you're older and you actually need it, suddenly that stops. I'm just stops. like you. You tell me. I, I'm I, like I'm you do realize I have more bills, more problems, and you giving me thanks, Auntie Jemima, for giving me twenty quid when I was ten. What about now? Do you know, what? <laughs> I, I would do. I need the money now. Give all of your siblings and your family members a crisp ten pound, whatever ten pounds of whatever currency, and that's it. No cards. Do you know another thing I hate about Christmas? And I did it one time, and I never did it since. Wrapping presents like you like with care just to see people rip them open in seven they don't give a fuck about it's very it's your very soul destroying i'm not your gonna pageantry lie. means nothing here mm-hmm. your present wrapping your gifts your bows your ties no one gives a fuck gifts okay? and bows what are you who are you upper class i ain't got time for that i've, I've had sellotape. Seen family members do it yeah sellotape now they ain't good sellotape ain't good enough sellotape right? I've seen it and then I don't Blue get tack. why you why are you trying to make why are you trying to make something look good? That's new. Just Blue. give me the, I, I would be cool if you just gave me the thing and said, here you are. What no no rapping tape couldn't be asked. All right, safe. Blue tack. I'm good with that. Nobody ain't got time for ribbons. I don't know what kind of upper <laughs> upper class lifestyle you're living. But nah, I'm not doing that. And Sell the then, tape. Um, Sell a tape. It's actually very hard to wrap presents, so I'm not gonna lie. Watching people rip them open quickly is a bit soul destroying. It is so like, like that, no one, no that, one took, that took a, wrap. a long time to wrap. Have you ever? Well, I, I, I was guilty of ripping them open anyway. But now, now that I actually like have wrapped them, they take fucking ages to wrap. Have like, you that, ever been that's given... a good twenty minute job right there. Like you, when you're little, like you have a buzz, like because you know what was on your list. You know you couldn't get everything on your list, so it was kind of like, what do you get? What don't you get? Kind of that kind of game. Um, it's very interesting to see how like your your needs change. Now, because like obviously, like when you're at this age, I don't really think anyone. No, bro, knows. can we can we quickly speak about that, please? You just brought, you brought up a brilliant point. Let's just do a disparage and like a, a confirmation, like a, a test. It. Can I just Present? say something? Yeah, yeah. fam, boxes and socks. Yeah, you get me that for Christmas. You are god to me. Like you don't understand. You don't understand. <laughs> that's that's exactly what I was about to say. Let's just get this straight. Presents oh. when you were a child compared to presents like let me tell you in our household it's from zero like i've got i've got a cousin that will give you one birthday present and one christmas present and then never buy you another present again but this is what happens yeah Mm. from zero to 16 you get shit that you want because they ask about your lists yeah so on and so forth from the moment you turn 16 they don't ask you nothing they're like what do you want and if it costs too much i ain't buying you that (laughs) and that's it and how how the, how the money flow just the older you get just just dries up i'm not really interested in presents really anymore like i don't really care because now i don't know like it's just 
the whole the whole exchange thing is just lost on me now. <laughs> like, I, like you can get presents any time of day. Do you know what I mean? Like, I just give it out randomly at that point. Like, I'm not really fussed on it being that particular day. I'm more about just give me the money. Like, no, I'm not even. Yeah, I'm more about. I'd rather just collect the receipts, <laughs> and I'd rather. I'd rather just like I. I would rather just know. Like, I don't have time for surprises anymore. Like, I know what I want. If you want to get me something, just ask me what I want, and then we just get that. Same vice versa. And then if you don't want to get me anything, money's good. And apart from that, there's nothing else to it. I'm more there for the food and the fact that, like, for me, Christmas has kind of changed because I don't see my cousins that often. So I'm kind of going just to see them. And the fact that everyone's there, it's corny, but because I used to see them all the time, it was like, oh, whatever. Like, I've seen you guys again. You're annoying bastards. But now that I don't see them that often, it's actually, that is literally why. That's the only thing I give a shit about. So everything else is just confetti at that point. It's just extra, extra noise. But um, yeah, like the demands have definitely changed. Like underwear is a big yes. Um, Seriously? Yeah. Fam, do you know how many socks go missing in this house that I own? And and they're just gone. And then I'm walking around and Miles is walking around in my socks. I'm like, like I have to, pants I I to get. buy those. No, pants it's usually the socks. I get. No, it's usually like... the socks. They just rob the socks from. And I'm just like, I had to buy that. And now I need to go and buy more. Like it's long, it's long. I'm telling and you, from me, socks go missing like no tomorrow. Let me finally, finally, it's a monthly finally, bill. Finally, get onto the biggest problem with Christmas for me. There's many more problems that I could have gone over, but this is the one, and it happens every year without question. You get around that table, and it starts oh. off so nice, so you pleasant. Ain't seen, you ain't seen them in gears. Yeah. Uh, let me. Work, okay. Let me just tell you what I'm talking about. I am talking about the Christmas Day Christmas table family roast. Every single year, it always starts nice. Starters, it's cool. Main. That, main that's course, that's because cool. everyone's easing their way into it. Everyone's yeah. not familiar. It's do like, you know what I mean? It's like when you finish the main course but, but before dessert. So what Every- have you been up to this year, big man? Everybody's sussing everybody out at the what? start. And then it de-escalates qu- pretty quickly. What have you been up to? What have you been up to? And then all of a sudden it goes from there. It this is, yeah, but this there. is, and do you know, do you know, this is why I don't like telling my family too much of my business because those are the times where it comes back to haunt you. They always save it. They just, it's like they're totting up all your, all your L's, all your, all, every, everything really. And then as soon as they get comfortable around that table and everyone's there, suddenly all, it all just comes out. And I'm just like, why are you doing this to me? Like, I know ever, I'm, I know I'm going to get it this year. Have I'm you ever had, the, have, you, have you ever had those family members that like they're about to get roast? So dot, dot, dot. Ah, oh, what you been doing in school? And then they, it's like a kamikaze type situation. They know that you did some bullshit earlier. Yeah, in the of year. course. They're just oh, playing. They're just playing. Oh, he it. got drunk. He got drunk and they're passed out. This, they're just playing like, it. Whoa. And you're like, whoa, whoa, wait, wait. I thought we were coming into this against the adults with a united front. What, what happened? Do you know oh. what it is? Do you know what it's like at the adult table? Yeah. You think you're all a unity, a one cohesive group with chemistry. And it's not that. What it is, is it's, it's, it's a group of people battling to not be embarrassed on that table and everyone's looking around sussing each other out at the start and then somebody twitches somebody shows a weakness and suddenly you would just go for them and it's like a massive group or of like people as simple just as hammering girls, on and on and on you know, you know you're sitting down with everybody's parents so what are those girls saying what oh girls? my god i'm gonna that, get it oh yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna get it this what year. Those girls i'm gonna get it do you know why because you know how you know how it went like the timing yeah, this yeah, year yeah, yeah with all my family coming over i'm gonna get it this year like, so what's she yeah. saying though? What's yeah, she up to? Yeah, I'm gonna get all of that. I'm gonna get all of that. I'm gonna get all of that. And I'm not I'm not ready for it. And it's weird because you think what, what it always ends up being is the people that are 35 and up against the people that are 17 to like 27. Mm. And it, you always think But there's always those classic victims every year that just take just take all yeah, the but this is the thing. Lie. <laughs> No, no, because I uh, fam, like I'm gonna keep it a buck when it comes to the family tradition, yeah. Like I personally will try and avoid it the most as possible because when it comes to that shit, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a habitual, <laughs> I'm a habitual victim. As in, mm. I have a- other cousins that will throw me under the bus, knowing that I, 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 I get disappointed when cousins do that. They just throw nah, you have me to. under you have to. the bus. What? So you certain, can avoid the ass whipping. Yeah, there's certain cousins that you're just like, yeah, you you know what time it is because I'm not I'm not taking this this shit alone. You're you're definitely coming over here. Um. Like it's, I definitely did. I think I did that a couple of years ago. Like one of my my cousin had um, she she got a tattoo that that my grandparents didn't know about, and um, oh, they like they geez. they they don't like tattoos at all. So fuck me, I'm God, <laughs> God help me this. You got yeah, God help me this year. But um, they like I don't think they're that keen on tattoos. And I was getting it. I was getting it. 
um i can't remember what it was about i think it's about grades or some bullshit like it's you school has always been oh, oh a beautiful point jesus christ they love to go for that one so i was getting it full blast from all sides of the table and the only person that was the only person i can go to really when i'm getting it is my uncle and he'll back it because he's also a victim as well <laughs> but um i had to bring her in i was like yeah, what are you saying with them tattoos? And boom, immediately, literally. Yeah, immediately. Switch, switch, literally. Bro, you know, like all the eyes are on you and they just boom, like just switch to the left. It's beautiful. Never and seen And she's just looking like at you like, wow, yeah. really? How could you sink so low? Really? This is what we're doing now. You're throwing each other under the bus. Okay. When the when the pressure's there, it's there. It really is. But like, have you, do you know what I also found really funny? Do you know those, um, so throughout the year, um, you have those great aunts and those like really distant family members that are just lurking around the out the the, the peripherals of the of the main family circle that you have, mm-hmm. and it's their birthday and your mum will get a call from them or your mum will call them and happy birthday and you know the meaningless bullshit chat that goes on it's like oh is Matisse there your oldest son do you want to speak to him oh yeah I'll just go and get him he's actually just in his bedroom and suddenly I'm given the phone and then I have to talk to this random person that I've never even spoken to in about 15 years just like yeah how you doing happy birthday what's your name again <laughs> you know those people yeah they're real outsiders when they come to the party they want to talk as well. They feel like they're part of it. They can jump on you. They can, no, 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 no. Please know your station. You're you're a peripheral character in this. You're not about it. Do you there not should get be involved. three tables. I, I Do nominate, not get involved, please. I nominate something with kind of three tables from this point onwards. Uh, Main family, side family, children. Side, <laughs> side, Do you know, you know side, always... side family. <laughs> You, like, you got just, the I'm character. not gonna lie, they're extra they're extra cast members who get brave sometimes, and I don't like it because I'm like, I do not know you well enough for you to even try it with me today. Don't you dare. Like you stay on that table and we'll come over here now and start piping up just because you're, you're looking like, for the will. You know the ones named, that are, some guy named Uncle Denzel, even though yeah. he's not related. You know the ones that are like uncle. ninth, ninth place for the will, and they're just coming every Christmas to make up the numbers just to just to hope <laughs> that everybody dies off. I'm like, get out of here, man. You're not involved. <laughs> Like some guy, Uncle Denzel, you don't know who he is. He was <laughs> your dad's schoolmate. He was your dad's schoolmate. And you ain't been, they ain't been tight in 35 years. Uncle and Denzel. His, his wife left him and now he's at your table and, and then sitting next but, to you. Yeah, oh, you're when like, when you was in diapers, who are you? Cheer is mine. Cheer is. And you're like, what the fuck? Do you want some ginger happened? beer? Do you want some I'm ginger like, beer? I'm like, who are you doing? <laughs> you were so small the last time I saw you. The last time I saw you saw me, I was one. You don't remember me, do you? You don't remember me. You don't Yeah, remember... I fucking no. hate that. Oh my I, god. You no, know the ones I, that don't, don't see you. Them ones that don't see you for years. Like you don't literally... remember me. No, you remember me. I'm like, no. Why are you insulted? No, I don't remember. I you. was free, mate. I'm sorry. No, I don't just remember finished. you. After I shit my nappy, I didn't actually look up at you and think, who are you? <laughs> Take you down your name. so big. Yes, yes. That's what happens in 15 years. Yep, grow. Humans grow. <laughs> Humans grow, yes. <laughs> I don't remember you being this tall when you were three. <laughs> <coughs> Have you Santa ever done Claus. a... Yeah, well, we'll leave Santa Claus out of this because he's a non-fiction... He's a fictional what? character. How Sorry, dare you say character. that? <laughs> He's a fictional character that we, we can't even be asked in. But um, do you, did you, have you ever, have you ever done like Secret Santa before? Oh, Secret Santa causes, I'm not going to lie to you. So stressful. I'm in a bit, I got kicked out of my family, Secret Santa. I'm an habitual, not buy it presents kind of guy. Mm. And then have you ever gone around Secret Santa knowing that you ain't bought no one nothing? And then you take your <laughs> gift and then people are looking for their gift and it's bait. It's you know the ones where it's, it's it's like playing past the parcel and you ain't got shit. <laughs> you know what I had to do one time. I, I forgot a secret Santa. I had to get the gift someone else got me and I had to give it no. back. I had to give it back. You had to like as a yeah, gift. forward it, forward the message. <laughs> no, I had to give the gift they gave me back to them. Why? Would you not because forward I it to the person that you have? No, I didn't buy them. I didn't buy them. Oh, anything. it was a proper exchange. Oh no, you do. Oh no, no. see, yeah, again, you're not understanding. In our household, you don't exchange gifts. Like non face to face, you have to do it face. This is why it's so awkward. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's wild. Like, have you ever been opening that big present from your parents and expect expect? One time, I could have sworn, yeah, my parents. This is how you, the first world problems. This is a warning. First world problems, like a motherfucker. My mom bought me a TV, but I wanted a um, I think I wanted like I don't know a tablet or some shit, and I they, and I was like, this is too big to be a, a tablet. Opened it and I complained. Like in front of all my family members, and then she took it away. She took. She was like, "All right, you're not getting it," and she took it away. I was like, "Why? Why did you buy me this? I don't want this. I wanted a tablet." And she's like, "What?" 
I was like, oh my God, this sucks. And now let me tell you, a couple years later, I'm looking at the TV right now, the best present I was ever bought. For being <laughs> young, yeah, I didn't yeah. realize that. Yeah, it's wild. It's wild. <sighs> Secret Santa is very stressful though. We've, yeah. uh, we've been doing it, um, this year is the first time I've done it with friends. And it's just like, oh, it's just so fucking stress. Like I only just managed- Who did you get? I can't say. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's been doing that. They've just been like, oh, who'd you get? Who'd you get? Who'd you get? Which is not the purpose of the game, but kind of the, kind of defeats the whole purpose it does of Secret a Santa. Bit. It really does. Like when you take away the surprise element, it's not really it's just, secret anymore. It's more of like exactly it's kind of Santa. shit. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, but um, oh, it's just been so stressful because you know it's like you're on a timer. Don't like it. Do not like it at all. Very okay. stressful. Let's wrap this down. I we could have spoke for many, many more hours about stuff that we didn't like about Christmas. And I know I like Christmas. Do you know why we're doing this? I'm going to explain. If you get to the end, you'll get to hear this explanation. In a slight way, I'm trying to ruin your Christmas. Just a little bit. I'm just trying to beat that Christmas spirit out of you. Just a little bit. For no reason whatsoever. Was you not a fan of the Christmas trees going up in mid-November, no? I, I, I know people that were putting up their Christmas lights before Halloween. And I'm like, See, that's a bit extra. You. That's a bit too much. Come on, man. What is this? Do you for know me, what? as soon as December hits, go for it. But before that is a bit much do you know no, no, lastly well, I'll, one more thing that I've, I've literally just thought I'll throw it to Matisse and then we'll end this everybody loves putting up their Christmas tree as a family with their family yeah I don't do that taking that <laughs> bitch down nobody wants not to involved. do that not involved <laughs> like, you see if you don't put down. it up you don't take it down it's beautiful it's a nice surprise when it goes up like when it goes up it's like oh okay nice I tend to tend to go to work when it's going up because then when it comes down it's nothing to do with me have you got do you get real ones or you got like the plastic ones i have no idea see we're not even here for christmas and we have a christmas tree in our house i'm very Why? surprised by that. i don't know um um but yeah i don't really know i haven't even really checked it out too much i just looked at it and i was like mm, okay cool i mean we're not gonna be here uh there's nothing under it but hey i like it wait how does that present how does how, like do your does your mom buy the gifts and then bring them to england or i don't know what she does i mean I'm kind of out of the loop with with the whole Christmas presents thing. I just I just turn up and I'm just like, "Hey everybody. <laughs> my present is the flight price." My present <laughs> is, is so my expensive present as you saw. Is my presence. Yeah, my presence. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my presence is my presence. Like literally if you you know the flight costs, it's fucking nuts. So I'm don't just be, like, we expecting shit. The fact that I showed up, goddamn, you're lucky. <laughs> <laughs> You I think, I, sleep, I, you think I wanted to be here for this fucking facade? <laughs> Not at all. All right. Oh. So people, ho, 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 and all that. Um, this has oh, been Christmas. Uh, <laughs> um, I hope you have a decent holiday, even though the actual meaning of Christmas is just so lost. Nobody ever goes to church on Christmas, even though that's... Oh, yeah. Is that meant to happen? Yes, it is meant to happen. Remember, it's Christmas. Is, is this about God? Yes, it is. But I know it looks story. See, exactly. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. Huh? Is this all about God again? Why, good is guy. It, why is everything got to be about God? Seriously. What do you do? <laughs> Can't um, we just have yeah. one Christmas that doesn't have to involve God? Jesus Christ. Yeah, Christmas used to be about family. Now it's about presents and shit. Now it's um, about God. <sighs> have a nice time, I guess. Um, don't do anything I wouldn't, which is everything. You don't do anything. <laughs> 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 and uh yeah dude fuck all basically. tell your family members you love them because you never know you might not make it to next christmas <laughs> which is dark <laughs> oh i should have said that i should have said that i mean you oh might my... not see them till next christmas that's what i mean <laughs> <sighs> anyway, wrapping up we're yeah. wrapping up. that's the last word we're, yep done finished <laughs> done bye bye <laughs> oh my god